Hey guys, it's me. Uh, I am 19 days postpartum today and little Charlotte is 19 days old. And I finally have a second where she's sleeping and I can do an update. <laughs> it might be quick, I don't know if she's gonna wake up or not. But, um, hi. Um, let's see, the past few weeks have been a little crazy. Um, Charlotte is, um, mostly a good baby. Um, she sleeps really well and, um, nursing has been going great. Um, maybe I'll do a whole separate breastfeeding update, but, um, she does get fussy in the later in the day, which I guess is normal for babies. Um, and she has been kind of gassy. I did stop eating dairy and I can't remember if I've talked about this. I don't even remember if I did a one week update. <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, I think I did a one week update. But um, she has been kind of gassy and having issues with that, so I stopped eating dairy, and um, we're hoping that that helps. Everything that I've read says that it takes a couple weeks for it to really get out of your system. So um, I think I stopped after she was like five or six days old, so um, we'll see if it makes a difference. And um, but yeah, other than that, she's good. Um, we took her to her two-week pediatrician appointment. And she weighs 11 pounds, three ounces. She's a hefty little girl. Um, she gained a lot of weight. She was 10, five at birth. And then the night before we left the hospital, she was nine pounds, 14 ounces. So she's 11 pounds, three ounces. And she is 23 and a half inches long. She was 21 and a half inches long at birth. So she's grown two inches. So that little girl is grown like a weed. Um, which I'm really proud of. I'm proud that breastfeeding is going so well and that she is thriving and growing. And um, it's cool to kind of see that that proof. So um, yeah, and she's doing really well. Um, the doctor checked you know, everything on her. She had a little bit of a red throat. So he said that that's like a little bit of a, a cold, a little sore throat type thing. So um, that's kind of a bummer, but she seems fine. Um, she hasn't really been acting sick. So the doctor that we go to is a naturopathic pediatrician, so he gave me some homeopathics for me to take, and they pass through my breast milk and go to her. So I've been taking those, and um, yeah, she hasn't been acting sick, so hopefully we caught it at the beginning and we're knocking it out. And um, yeah, other than that, she's really good. And let's see, um, she's super, like... When she's awake and alert, she loves to look at stuff. She's really curious. It's so cute. We walk her around the house. Like, she likes to be up over our shoulder. So we'll walk her around the house, and she, like, looks at all the pictures and paintings and stuff on the walls. And um, she makes really good eye contact with you. And it's just really cute. She's super interested in stuff. And Mike's phone has one of those. Like, the camera on his cell phone has the thing where you can, like, switch the camera view so you're looking at yourself and he was holding it over her and she was like following, he was kind of going like this with it and she was like following with her eyes, which I thought was cool because she was like looking at herself. Um, and she holds her head up really well. Um, she has since she was born. Um, you know, not all the time, I mean, it gets a little heavy for her and we have to support her neck and stuff, but um, you know, if I'm like sitting her up to kind of burp her or if I have her over my shoulder, she holds her head up really well. So she's a strong little girl and she, has some muscles on her like she can push and kick hard <laughs> she's strong um but yeah she's doing well here i'll show you her really quick there she is she's sleeping hopefully that didn't make the camera angle all strange. This is a new camera that my dad got us, so this is my first time using it to film myself. Anyway, as for me, um, I'm doing well. I did have a little bit of the baby blues for the first, um, for probably about a week, um, where like later in the day when she was more fussy, I would just get really emotional. And um, it was just, it's really hard to deal with. Like I had no idea how hard it would be to hear your own baby cry and scream and just emotionally like it's really hard and um i was having some struggles with that and just with the changes and everything and you know we're not really taking her out of the house other than you know to the pediatrician and things like that 
Um, so we're not taking her out to the grocery store or restaurants or anything yet. Um, so I'm getting a little bit stir crazy. So I think that's kind of thrown in there too. Um, I feel like the baby blues has kind of gone away. Um, but I do still feel stir crazy. <laughs> like I want to get out of the house. So I think this afternoon we might take her to the park and just kind of walk around with her in the stroller and get some air uh, and some sun. So that'll be good because it's really hard just being cooped up in the house and um, not really going anywhere. And not that I've ever really been a big like let's go places all the time person, but it's hard to just um, be at home. So we're probably not going to be taking her out to restaurants and things like that for a few more weeks just to give her immune system more time to build up. Um, but I will be happy when we can finally take her out places. So that'll be good. Um, I'm still bleeding. Um, postpartum, you know, bleeding down there. So that's not fun. I really like hope it goes away soon because I'm sick of it. After not having a period for nine months and then, you know, having to like wear pads every day, it sucks. So I'm looking forward to that going away and um, sorry, something was flashing on the screen. Uh, I'm looking forward to that going away. So hopefully it goes away soon. I was trying to look up online how long postpartum bleeding usually lasts. And of course, some people, it goes away after a week. Some people have it for like eight weeks. So let's hope it goes away soon because I'm sick of it. Um, yeah. Other than that though, things down there seem to be fine. I'm not really having pain or anything. Um, I don't feel sore anymore. For the first um, week, like my hips and pelvis and stuff were sore and my abdomen, like my abdominal muscles and stuff were sore from pushing. But um, I really don't feel sore anymore. I feel pretty good. And um, so that's cool. I have lost all of my pregnancy weight. So I'm super excited about that. Um, what is this saying? Sorry, something keeps flashing and it's confusing me. Um, yeah, I gained 45 pounds when I was pregnant and I've lost all of it. So I can't believe it. I'm really excited about that. Hold on. We have the little um, sleep sheep that makes different white noise sounds and it helps her sleep. So it turned off. I had to turn it back on. Um, and if you're pregnant, I suggest you get one because... It's awesome. So get a sleep sheet. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's this guy right here. It's upside down, but it's a little sheet. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited that I've lost all my pregnancy weight. I still want to lose some weight, but I feel like breastfeeding is working really well. Plus, not eating dairy. Um, you know, not eating like cheese and obviously not eating ice cream and stuff like that. So, um, I think that's helping too. And yeah, so that's awesome. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I'm sure that I'm forgetting stuff. I'm sure that I had things I wanted to talk to you guys about, but mommy brain, mommy brain is crazy. I think mommy brain is worse than pregnancy brain. It's like I completely forget stuff and I say the weirdest things that make no sense and just ugh, my brain has fallen out. Um, yeah, anyway, so I guess that's it for a 19 day postpartum uh, vlog and I have a bunch of other videos. I really want to get around to doing them, but seriously, it is so hard to have a time when she's sleeping and I don't need to be doing something else. So, um, we'll see if I get there. I know that I did my giveaway vlog like forever ago and I have not announced a winner for that. I haven't even gone to random.org and tried to pick somebody. So, um, I'll try to do that and announce a winner and do my Q and A video. And I have a lot of videos to do, so hopefully I find time to do them. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I'll show you one more shot of little baby Charlotte. Here she is, the little baby, snoozing away. Say bye bye baby!